I'm Dr. Vanita Spazzetti. I'm the Associate Dean for Education at the University of Florida College of Dentistry. And I'm here to talk to you today about a concept called holistic admissions. I've been a dentist now for about 35 years, and I can tell you that it was a wonderful career choice for me. Um, I'm hopeful that at the end of this, you'll be able to understand what this concept is, and you'll be able to apply it in your preparation of your application for dental school. So um, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I was a good college student, but not a great one. My science GPA was lower than my overall GPA, and neither of them was above a 3.5. My DHT scores were okay, not great. They were okay. I've been out of college for about two years teaching high school in a small town uh, far away from my undergraduate school. As it turns out, I went to a large state undergraduate institution and frankly I wasn't really sure if anybody really remembered me well enough two years later to be able to write me letters of recommendation for dental school. And, shockingly, at that time, the internet didn't exist. So, as it turns out, it probably was a good idea that I didn't have a lot of advice from other people because some expert probably would have told me not to bother to apply to dental school with a science GPA below a 3.5 and probably I would have listened and not applied and I might not have ever had a chance to become a dentist. So how in the world did I get admitted to dental school? Well. Because even then, back when the earth was still cooling and dinosaurs roamed the earth, even then, dental schools were practicing something called holistic admissions. What that means is they were looking for more than just the numbers, really. Holistic admissions means that all of the parts of your application are a factor in admitting students, not just the numbers. Things like GPAs, like test scores are important, but they're not the only things that are important. Dental experience, experience working at a job, life experiences, research experience, self-understanding, your communication skills, your maturity, your psychomotor skills, and on and on and on are all factors in decision making. And I can tell you, today, many dental schools still practice holistic admissions. So what is it the dental schools want? Well, schools are different. They have different missions. They look at applications differently. And if you ask the experts online, those experts at the websites that know everything at, at about dental school admissions, they'll tell you that it's all about the numbers, all about the GPAs and the test scores. So why is it? Why is it that this myth about numbers being the only thing that's so important in uh, dental school admissions decision making, why does this keep getting repeated and why do people pay so much attention to it? Well, probably one of the main reasons why this myth pervades is because numbers are easy to understand and they provide kind of a simple way to compare things. So it's easy to see that a GPA of 3.5 is greater than a GPA of 3.2. It's easy to tell that a DAT score of 21 is more than a score of 17. And then when you try to compare other things like passion for the profession, maturity, self-understanding, psychomotor skills, how do you compare people? Okay, without numbers, it's, it's difficult to do. Numbers make it easier to compare applicants, so people tend to focus on them. Let's look at one numbers myth, okay? So here's the myth. If you don't have a science GPA of 3.5 or above, don't even apply to dental school. Okay, that's a myth, all right? I took a look at the IDEA official guide to dental schools to just see what actually dental schools were doing when they were choosing entering classes. Now, if you're not familiar with the IDEA official guide to dental schools, it's a publication that IDEA puts out every year that has statistical information about every dental school, about their applicant pools, details about the entering classes, GPAs, test scores, costs, prerequisites, and more. And unlike many guides, this publication actually comes from the dental school, so the information in there is accurate and up to date. So I took a look at the 2015 edition of the official guide 
which is for the entering classes of 2014. 29 of the 66 U.S. dental schools that reported had average science GPAs in their ending classes of less than 3.5. That's about half of all schools had science GPAs of less than 3.5. That's the average science GPA. Now think about means. Think about averages. Okay, that meant that there were people enrolled with science GPAs that were less than the mean. Okay. Remember, there is a range across the mean. Okay, so I took a look at the range numbers that were in the official guide. 43 of the 66 dental schools had people with scores, mean science GPA scores that were below 3.0 in their range of scores in their entering classes. Okay? Don't apply if your science GPA is less than 3.5. I don't think so. It's not borne out for the fact. But you don't have to believe me. Look it up for yourself. Go to the IDEA official guide and take a look for yourself. You'll see the facts. Dental schools are looking for people with the educational foundation to be successful in dental school. That's the numbers thing. But they also want to have people who know who they are and where they're going in their lives, who have maturity, life experiences, self-understanding, a knowledge of the dental profession and they understand how their skills and talents fit with a career in dentistry. It's not a race, it's your life. And it's okay to take some time off and explore the world, yourself and your talents. Going to dental school at a time in your life when you've had some life experiences, when you're ready to get serious about your education gives you an advantage in dental school as a dental student. So take some time, figure out who you are, and what you want out of life. Then spend some time learning about dentistry and the goodness of the fit between you and the dental profession. Then, when you know what dentists do in their work, you know yourself, what you enjoy, what you're good at, and you're at a point in your life where you're ready to learn a lot and work hard towards a goal, then apply to dental school, even if your science GPA is below a 3.5. We need your talents and skills in dentistry.